aerial view of Fort Pickens. And as you drive through and you come up on Fort Pickens, this is the first thing you will see. It's off to the starboard side. It's what they call a battery, the first battery. As you can see, there's a garage door under there. Some sort of storage facility, I guess. I did not walk up on top there, which I do regret not doing, because I would have liked to have seen uh, the whole fort from as high up as I could have gotten, but unfortunately I didn't. And uh, here we go through the front gates. Now it must be mentioned that historically, when you look at the history of this place, that it was built by slaves who were brought in. And I'd have to imagine, going by that logic, that most of the structures around this time, all over the earth, were built by slaves. Slavery was a huge thing. It still is a huge thing. It's just taken a different form nowadays. And before you start saying, well, Jason, what are you talking about? Look no further than the city of, for example, Dubai and what's going on over there with the crazy, grand, magnificent buildings that they're building and who's actually building the, those buildings and where those people are living. That's enough said about that. I can, you can see the cannon up there to, to the right, which, by the way, it was said that that cannon could shoot a 300 pound cannonball three miles. There it is again, up there. There's another battery. And it's just amazing um, the sheer grandeur of this thing. And again, if you read the uh, text at the beginning of the video, these star forts are all over the earth and they all popped up around the same time period around the 1500s or so give or take a hundred years and there are literally hundreds of these things all over it's mind-boggling actually when you really think about it when you think about these things zoom back from an aerial view and look at the the shape the perfection of them and this is just in Fort Pickens Florida they're all over North America South America Europe Russia everywhere just about Hawaii now tell me I don't know how long Let's see, how long does it take to get to Hawaii in an airplane? Pretty damn long. How long did it take to get to Hawaii from France in the 1500s? How in the hell did they build these structures all over the earth? Very, you know, it's almost as if you could, like when you look at a Frank Lloyd Wright house, you know it's a Frank Lloyd Wright house, you know that style. It's the same thing with these. It's almost like the same builder built them all over the earth. Now for me, when I'm looking at these, uh, the interior of these structures, it's pretty obvious that these things, that they added to them. And that is my guess. Uh, I guess, my guess, my best guess, based on logic, is that these things were already here and been here for thousands of years that's my guess and that people just bricked over what was already there reinforced it whatever threw some mud up there as you can see these corridors here that's another thing these corridors were so small the people back then must have been like i mean these corridors were made for people that are five foot i'm six foot and i couldn't go into these corridors because they were too small People back then must have been very short. Reminds me of a Randy Newman song for you music fans out there. So as you walk through these chambers, 
you will see on the ceiling there will be these like arrow slits which go up to an air corridor which come out at the top roof of the battery which would let in air and light sometimes and there's another one and you can see also in some of these places the storage facilities for their munitions perhaps food things like that um, can't imagine being in these things in the dead of summer um, but hey you know it's in Fort Pickens Florida see here's one I had to duck down to get through it was so small there's another one of the slits in the ceiling and then a little bit of sand coming in there oh what's that that looks like a correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar tutor card wonder how that got there moving on uh, there were several of these passageways uh, which dead-ended where they concreted them off sealed them off uh, put a bunch of rocks there so you couldn't get through there now I'm aware that there are stories of underground tunnels all over these places and we do know that there are underground military bases and military underground trams and there is a huge naval base to the north west of this I can't remember the name of it but it's at the beginning of the video but we couldn't get to any of those and here I am climbing up to see that huge cannon these star forts or as Wikipedia calls them bastion forts were built specifically for cannon warfare and supposedly the way the walls were fortified cannonballs could not breach them that's how strong they were do you know of any structures nowadays that could withstand a cannon ball 300 pounds going over three miles now here are some of the similarities of these structures how would an architect be able to go all over the world in a matter of a couple hundred years and build all these things and this is just a small handful this is literally not even one percent of the Starfort uh, material that's out there on the internet if uh, you want to look it up check out the link in the description of the video there's a Starfort location website some of these are actually citadels some of them are actually huge complexes cities all of them very similar all look like they were built by the the same architect it's my opinion again and this is not a fact it's just an opinion uh, following the logic that these things have been around for hundreds of thousands of years I'd have to say that's just a guess on my part who built them I don't know that's one thing I won't go into because I have no way of proving it and anyone who thinks they do well that's just an assumption and presumption and as you know with the lens of quantum grammar that's just not something that we do these are some beautiful structures though pretty amazing and they've lasted you know if they were built in the 1500s or so they've lasted hundreds of years still in great condition how many structures do we have nowadays that we could say would last 500 years and still be in this good a condition? I can't really mention any structure that would do that. The Statue of Liberty and Liberty Island or whatever it's called in New York, that is a star fort. I don't have a picture of that here, but you can look that up if you want to. Appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to check out my grammar channel, www youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew class or if you want to contact me Jason Matthew G 17 at gmail.com thanks for watching